All right, this man, one time prominent South Carolina attorney, Alex Murdoch, continues to make headlines. The man whose wife and son were found shot to death in June is now back in jail, this time on suspicion of stealing millions of dollars of insurance settlement money tied to the 2018 death of his housekeeper. News agent correspondent Janelle Ford is live with the latest on this ever changing story. So, Janelle, Murdoch was taken into custody in Florida. Yeah, that's where he spent the last few weeks in rehab for an alleged opioid addiction. South Carolina investigators and Florida law enforcement uh, took him into custody earlier, and now he's waiting extradition back to South Carolina. And today's arrest just adds on to mounting criminal cases against the now disgraced attorney. These charges, again, stem from the 2018 slip and fall death of the Murdoch family's longtime housekeeper, Gloria Satterfield. So when this happened three years ago, the Murdoch family told Satter Satterfield's sons that she had tripped over the family's dog and fell. She was hospitalized. She died weeks later. But oddly, the death was never reported to the Hampton County coroner, even prompting her to ask state police why she wasn't called in to review something that she would have considered an accidental death. At Satterfield's funeral, uh, the lawsuit alleges that Murdaugh told her sons that he could get insurance and insurance settlement from the incident and that he would take care of them. But when I spoke with their lawyer, they said that those boys never saw a dime of that money. They said that Murdaugh was able to secure $4 million from his insurers. He only told them about 500000 of it. Again, they never saw any of that money, and that's where these charges are stemming from. Now, this arrest is the latest development in six state police investigations into Murdaugh. They include the June deaths of his wife and son, millions of dollars missing from his family's uh, law firm, and him trying to arrange his own death so that his remaining son, Buster, could get a $10 million insurance payout. And, Nicole, the twist just seemed to come and keep continuing to come in this case and South Carolina investigators say they are following the facts in this and they say that they are not going to stop until they've gone into and really reviewed each of these allegations and justice is served. Yeah, well, six separate state police investigations.